Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 172 on the 20th of June. We're rolling our way through this year. Uh, you'll notice, as everybody else has noticed, that this is still Skype if you're here with us. So all of you that have been attending all this time along are in a very comfortable confines. We have discussed that Skype for meetings is, or Skype for business is going away and we need to find another solution, teams or whatnot. Uh, we are working on that uh, solution but I was able to delay the death of Skype for Business for us, and we will uh, have another solution, if not for the next meeting, probably the meeting after that, because I don't actually know how long our extension is going to last. Um, but I'm best guessing I got 30 days at least, which will cover us today for sure. So as always, these meetings are being recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. Let's look at our agenda. And it looks a lot like uh, last week. Uh, including the discussion about what are we going to do with Skype, um, which isn't on the agenda. We'll do triage. We have a few more issues today than we have for a while, and we'll talk about the Voto V1 release. And as always, we'll do questions, comments for uh, people that are here that want to ask us stuff right now. So let's go jump into triage and get that checked off our list of things to do. Bob, you ready? I am ready. My mouse wheel is sensitive. All right, here we go. Uh, so Starting at the bottom of things that we've been looking at, bundle does not detect earlier with GUID style. Uh, it doesn't reproduce now. It's closed, so I think we're good to go. As don't know what happened, but uh, not an issue for us. Yep. Which is good because it never made sense. Um, I forgot to update this. Did I? Oh yeah, I meant to update this. Um, this all worked for me um, on my box that was connected to the internet and that I disconnected from the internet and ran it. So at this point, the hypothesis we have is that this box not being connected to the internet does not have up-to-date certificates. And thus, when the V6 installer attempts to verify the signature of the V6, it can't validate it given that the certificate chain is newer. And so they probably need to update the certificate the trusted routes on these boxes that are offline to be able to install signed packages. The alternative is that we could ship unsigned packages, but I don't think that's probably what we want to do. Well, so is this because of, of the age? Ah, sorry, ask a different question. Is this always going to fail because it can't download a revocation list? Uh, or that's, that's my current hypothesis. I haven't got verification okay. from the, the Visual Studio team, but the fact that this has worked on all my offline machines, but I don't have a machine that has been offline forever. Well, okay, so sorry, that's where I was going for. If, if something was was updated and then taken offline recently, then that's you know maybe a different case than something that's you know say offline semi permanently. If it's always going to fail in an offline environment, regardless of how often you, you know, if you update, that's one thing. But it sounds like that's not the case. That is not the case. Okay. I had a machine that was well on. I removed it from the internet. Did the install? Everything worked fine. Okay. But I do not have a machine that has never been connected to. The, I don't have like a Windows Seven that has never been connected to the internet and attempted to install that. I did not try that scenario. But this is consistent. This behavior that he's seeing here is consistent the way Burn used to work when it used to validate certificates, and you had a machine right. that was off. It was like, oh, that signature is invalid, and it's not that it was invalid. It's that your um, revocation list, your trusted certificates, was out of date because time is the enemy of all certificates. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Um, but this is not a unique problem. All kinds of things will have problems signing. And there is a way of getting certificates to offline machines. Yeah. So anyway, I will follow up with this ticket to say that's let's, they should try that, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. Wix Boo Shopper should provide a Windows build number as a variable. Right. I'm not against that. We could toss that in 4x if someone wanted to implement. And notice the pull requests. Oh, there are pull requests. Oh, groovy. I didn't even. I am blind. All right, cool. We'll probably take the four. I'm not sure. We'll take the three. Do 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 do. Uh, this this. Should, okay. 
Did anybody follow this issue <laughs> as it was happening? I'm just curious. I have to do. Wix toolset is bound to Microsoft, and then there's no description. The reason there's no description is because it's been edited. Oh, I can't do it in IE. I'm that's a bummer. All right, so I encourage everyone that watches this video to go look at this issue number six zero two eight, and it's just amusing. I don't actually know what's going on in this issue, um, and I don't truly understand all the words that are in there. I mean, I can read the words; they're English, but the way the sentence structure is amazing. I wish I could bring it up, um, but it's but it is um it is amusing. So anyway. This bug can go away because in the end they ended up with no content in it. I mm -hmm. have no idea what this person was doing. Nope. It half amused me and half annoyed me that I actually spent time looking at it going, what the, huh? I don't. Anyway. Um, component installation path throws an overflow exception in this particular case. Sounds like a good thing that we could fix in uh, Forex if someone wants to do that. That would be great. Yep. Uh, can I go back? All right, thank you. Uh, full width forms double quotes can't be displayed correctly on full width forms double quotes. It's a Unicode thing. Okay. Oh, I see. Um, and yeah, and and so uh, I don't really know. Um, hmm. Well, can't be displayed correctly is not terribly helpful when it comes to looking at a bug report. And I don't know what code page 2052 is. 1052? Yeah, yeah, it would be 1252, and that so 20 is an odd typo to make. Um, it, it, I mean, this should work fine. You know, burn, or sorry, uh, Femutal and Wix Standard BA use Unicode. Wide strings all over the place. So, um, yeah. Right. Uh, let's have them send us a Wixel file for Wix standard BA, and then see if we see it. And some, you know. Honestly, though, I mean, they can take a look at it if they want it to work. Yeah, they can take a look at it. I'm not interested in taking a look at it myself. So, we'll put it for us to say, hey, if you could put a picture and an example, and maybe you can debug it. Sure. Uh, extra space shown in error message for file not found. Mm, two spaces after a period. Not incorrect. Oh, it's completely out of incorrect. It's wrong. <laughs> evil. It's not wrong. It's an evil. It's just definitely falling out of style. I suppose you'd be okay with three spaces, too. No. Two spaces mm. is an accepted topography choice. Um, but not in this day and age of computer screens. On a manual areas. typewriter, yes. yes. Yes, exactly. So I could see someone coming over and doing that. Um, <laughs> yes, that's because all of the Wix error messages have two spaces after periods. Do they? I don't I don't even know. Yeah. Do they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it, it bugs me a lot. But not enough to fix it. Well, that's one of those, you know, here's this massive delta. Oh. You're just doing white space changes. Man. <laughs> you can toss it for it. If, if it bothers somebody enough, they can fix it because I would not uh, disagree that one space is superior to two spaces in this day and age. All right. Mm. Um, so this person sent us the log file and all this, which is great. I went down and I found the answer was that somehow this file already existed, which means, I don't know, maybe they put it there by hand because um, that would be a thing you would do if you didn't do the right thing in getting it through Votive. And the v6 installer gets upset when you try to install the same file twice, because it's not a real installation engine. Um, uh, uh, I, let's leave this open for next triage to see if they come back with any more input on it, because this did just get responded to yesterday. Okay. Let's see if they come back and say, oh, yeah, this installed it, and if it's us, then maybe we need to think about something more. Not that I know what we would solve, but we'll go do that. Rebuild solution fails because clean reference project is not implemented. This kind of surprises me. That I've rebuilt work. solutions many times. I know. I, I have two, and it's generally worked, but... Um, 
I'm not. Isn't this just a common targets thing? It, it probably is part of a common targets thing, but I thought this worked in three for me too. So I'm, but maybe I haven't watched close enough to see that it didn't clean, and it, everything just kind of worked out in the end for me. Um, but I just assume they had a newer project that was having a problem or something. Oh, that the projects are new enough that you have to do something different, like a .NET Core project or something. A newer style project. Yeah, that, that's a that's a good theory. Um, oh, yeah, there's no data about that, is there? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, so, how about we uh, resolve this in four as, yeah, we think this should be fixed by moving to common targets in four. Okay. And they can, when four is far enough along that they can get their installer, then they can come back and decide if this is still a problem for them. Um, but we're not going to go. So you, do you want to resolve it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I just, you talked about them following up. If they want to. I mean, if they okay. want to. We're getting there. So we'll see. All right. Cool. That went much better than I thought it might. Several things for four that someone could fix if they wanted. That's great. All right. Let's talk about Vota V1. I had really hoped, and I was up late last night trying to make it that I could say, Vota V1 has been released. Because um, look at all this work that's been done. And then look at that last thing that's not working. Uh, so I attempted to push all the updates to Visual Studio Marketplace. And they have since made a change in the ingest process that um, a bunch of pieces of the manifest now must all be in perfect sync with the account that's being published and the IDs that are being published, which were not restrictions in the past because, well, we have packages that are the same that have already been up, put up there. Uh, and so, for example, the I, I am the owner of the organization due to many changes in Visual Marketplace that they ended up giving it to me. So I tried to create a Wix tool set organization instead of having them be under my name. And I can't because it turns out there are already packages using the Wix tool set name. Those packages are the ones that I created from a long time ago. So my packages have blocked me from creating this organization <laughs> that have been up there for a long time. And then when I tried to even add it, oh, it says the authors must match the owner of the being being published. So I must be the author of the Visual Studio extension, which of course I don't want to be the author of the Visual Studio extension. So net net, they're requiring a whole bunch of things to be the same that have never been the same for us, and now we can't upload. So I have a issue out to the Visual Studio Marketplace going. Uh, we're boxed out. Can you please help me fix all this stuff so I can put the so I can upload and get the correct things up there. Anyway, so the net net is changes they've made on the server side to lock down a whole bunch of stuff have prevented me from uploading any new versions of Vota. But I'm working on it. And as soon as it is done, I will upload Vota V1 and I will get this off of my list and I will stop messing with this space that I don't want to be messing with all the time. It is all just broken. <laughs> I'm back in this mode again. It's here a few... I don't know, about a month ago or so, and now I'm back in it again where everything, all the systems are broken. So anyway, I'm a little frustrated as you could tell, but I will push through, get the answers to this. Hopefully Visual Studio Marketplace will fix this. They'll be able to create a Wix tool set organization, and then that will sort out a whole lot of these things going forward. All right. Any questions, comments on that? Other than you guys are glad that you're not dealing with it, maybe? All right. So... Uh, Vota V1 will be up as soon as it's up. And the release can well, I, I can't even say that because I may have to rebuild based off what they tell me must be in the manifest. So uh, if there is another version built, it'll only be small manifest changes just so I can publish to Marketplace. Otherwise, feel free to use the, the uh, second release candidate that we have up there because it should basically be the exact same bits that we're releasing. Anything else people want to talk about? Oh, it's all quiet. All right. So I guess that's going to be that. Uh, oh, look, the next meeting is on July 4th. No, it's not. Huh? 
I don't think it. I don't think it'll be on July 4th. Uh, well, we could. I'll be here. You guys might not. Um, do we want? How do we? Do we want to just skip July 4th and come back in a month? Do we want to try to shift the dates around? What do people want to do? Opinions, thoughts. Not July 4th or yes, July 4th. I think that's probably the first thing. Not July 4th? <laughs> so not July 4th. So given that, then do we just skip and go to the 18th of July? Or do we shift the schedule and go the 27th or 11th? Well, there's something nice about a meeting at 7-Eleven. <laughs> uh, numerology. I can go either way. I don't know that we're going to have anything to talk about because if Votive gets released, we'll do the announcements on the website and send the mails and all that kind of good stuff. And we should target Votive for, for July 4th, it being a holiday and all. At this point, fine. At this point, it's really not up to me. It's up to the Visual Studio Marketplace team to help me address whatever could be done. Um, I will get it done. Um, and fine, if, yeah, if I can hit July 4th, I'll hit July 4th. Uh, so how about the 18th? Because I don't think we're going to have anything next week to discuss, um, unless Votive is released. But you know, whatever. I don't think our bugs will be too bad, and I don't I don't anticipate our bugs being that bad. And we'll just go for the 18th. Sure. Sure. Good. Okay. All right. Sean, such resounding. Uh, okay. Bob, sure. Wow. I feel. All right. I need Jacob to come up with an exclamation point in his comment in the. <laughs> the chat window here. Um, it's, it's not the kind of topic that generally, you know, creates enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. That's what I'm looking for. Enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Time of morning. Or afternoon or wherever it is for you. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't uh, think that, that thank meh you, Jacob. deserves an exclamation. I don't think those two things go together. <laughs> that is fantastically awesome. All right. Uh, you guys are great. Thanks for being here. Um, changes coming to this meeting. I, I will say that change is being foisted upon us. I don't know if it'll happen. It may happen by the 18th if my month runs out before then. Um, and Votive will get released as soon as I get to Visual Studio Marketplace. We will persevere through all of these technical changes that Microsoft is forcing on us for reasons I, <laughs> I just... To be uh, fair, different divisions. It, it completely different divisions. <laughs> Off, I'm getting hit by Office of Visual Studio this time instead of Windows. And it's like, ah... Uh, <laughs> Oh. Instead of Windows and Visual and Studio. Azure. And Azure was like the oh, Azure. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess unless you consider Azure DevOps Visual Studio. I don't really know how. Uh, who knows? Anyway, <sighs> I'm just, I'm over it. I'm over it all. So uh, we'll be back in four weeks. We may have the new meeting format at that time. Um, if we do have the new meeting format, um, Wix devs, I will be sending out, hey, please try to jump on this new way of doing things so that I can prove that they'll work before we try to do a meeting for live under them. Um, and uh, hopefully before that time, Votive is up and everybody can be like, yay, 2019 support, finally. Uh, and we will just check that off and move forward. I am in Wix 4 bundles, making that stuff work. And when I have that and merge modules uh, implemented, again, I'm going to feel really good about starting to give people, like pointing people at Wix 4. I, that's kind of a thing. And then go backfill patching. It feels like uh, I'm getting closer and closer. So um, that's where I'm at on Wix 4. I know I haven't talked about it a lot, but that's what I'm working on on that front. Um, so maybe by the 18th, we're talking about more of that and less of this stuff that's been dragging on our backlog. That would be fantastic. All right. Agreed. Yeah. All right. So given that everybody is a whole lot of meh, we will move on for Four weeks from now, we'll be back, hopefully with a vote of release in between. And until then, uh, you guys keep it cool. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.